I was created for such a time as this. I think my children, but most, to be honest, <laughs> children that I have come in contact with, mainly at church, I think they are probably most. Um, I stray away from my own children only because their dad, I think, is more of an influence in that area with them. And so I think the children that I come in contact with outside of my home is who are probably most influenced by my love of God. It's very important for women to be ministered to because we are always giving. We give in our family homes, we give at work, we give on the streets, we are always giving of ourselves and we need to be replenished. We need to have what we give given back to us. And I think in being ministered to, that is a way for us to receive what we need, whether it be spiritual or financial or emotional, all of that in that ministry, it should be replenishing us for all that we give out to others. So the statement of, for such a time as this, actually leads me to think of Queen Esther. And I have to say that I've been portraying the role of Queen Esther for many years. Um, as a young girl in church, from Children's Day to AYs, to youth days, to now actually this past February being asked to play Esther again during our Black History Month program. None of the leaders knew that they were asking me to play the same role over and over. And the topic of For Such a Time as This actually leads directly to the life of Queen Esther. I don't consider myself a Queen Esther, but I will say that my experience is similar. When I think about moving to the DMV four years ago, was very uncertain about what that was going to entail. Just knew that I needed a new job, we needed to move, and we'd been interested in living here in the DMV area. Found a job online, thought that was perfectly me. Um, I was called eventually to come and interview and eventually got the job. But I have to say that um, I moved here without my family first. I moved first, six months later they moved, and I questioned the move the entire time. Uh, wondered if I was making the right move, wondered if this was what was meant for our family. We would be leaving all of our immediate family in New York, and was that even a good idea? I have to say that since that time, it's been four years now, and since that time, I've had affirmation after affirmation that this was a good move. I can say that I was put to be in such a time as this because I was the one that led the family to move down here. So it was me first, then they came. Um, at first we didn't particularly care for it, but I have to say again, everything that has happened up to this point has led me to believe that we should be here. Actually, this year with COVID, it led me to think what our lives would have looked like had we stayed in New York. What would that have looked like? We would have been on top of each other like other people are. I would have been concerned with where the boys play and go. And I have less of that concern here in this um, area in the DMV. And then to bring it full circle, out of tragedy can come good things, but my father-in-law passed away in April of this year. And after that, my mother-in-law decided to move down here to the DMV. And so now where we had no family, we're starting to have family come closer. And so I feel like for such a time as this leads directly to me as I am leading my family to move down to this DMV area where life is easier, life is less stressful. And we hope that it would be a blessing to not only us as a family, but to others that we come in contact with. I was created for such a time as this.